Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be going over a review here for the Re i8 Plus keyboard, remote, mouse, and pretty much whatever else you want to use this thing for. I've been using it for a while and I gotta say I'm really impressed with the quality and just how good it feels. Uh, the plastic feels really great. I mean it's got little grip stuff there on the back. You can hold it in your hands like a video game controller. The buttons feel very solid. You can type pretty fast on this thing and just how the clicking feels on the keys. Um, it's just really a good quality um, in comparison to some of the previous models of this keyboard. It's got rechargeable batteries in it, which is another plus. You don't have to go out to the store and buy batteries every time uh, they run out you just plug it in with a usb charger and you're good to go you can also store the dongle in the back area that's going to be the receiver that you're going to plug into your uh, whatever device you can use this on a desktop computer but a lot of you guys are probably going to be using it how i'm using it i got it plugged into my raspberry pi um, and then i have it hooked into the Kodi media player so I can watch movies and TV shows and things from the internet. But um, just to get this thing working out of the box and hook it in to the, you can see this little receiver here that's um, plugged in there. You're not gonna have that plugged in right away. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously make sure your keyboard's charged somewhat, but before you start and turn the power on, you hold down F1. And then on the top here, there's a little on switch. It's hard to see, but uh, while you're holding F1, you turn it on, and that'll get it into a mode where you get a blinking yellow light, and that's meaning it's looking for the dongle. At that point, you go ahead and plug in the dongle into the USB slot there, and then at that point, after about five seconds or so, it'll pick up on the receiver and um, be hooked in and ready to go. And then at that point, you just turn off the remote once again and turn it back on, and you're good to go. So. I'll just kind of show you how easy this thing is to work here. Um, I'm just going to be using one hand because I'm holding my camera with the other, but uh, it cycles through everything really nice and quick. Uh, go down to add-ons under videos, and then we'll go over to Exodus. And if you're interested in getting Exodus on your Kodi player, I made a video how to do that a long time ago. I'll go ahead and throw that down in the video description if you're interested. Um, also, uh, this particular... Um, keyboard remote you should be able to get um, probably in about 15 to 20 dollar range somewhere in there uh, if you're looking for it on eBay um, all right so we'll go to movies and then you know it's just if you've ever used this program before it's pretty simple to find what you're looking for. But another big positive with this is you have a full keyboard. So if you wanna search for a specific movie or TV show, um, you just go to the search area and you just start typing away and it's very convenient using uh, this particular remote. So I'm really happy with this thing. The plastic feels great. It's kind of like a matted, um, good gripping plastic. It's got a trackpad here that you can use. Uh, as you can see, the, the mouse moves around on the screen there with the trackpad. Um, and then you just have a whole host of other things, pause, play button, that uh, fast forward, um, you know, volume control, mouse clicks, you name it, it's on this thing. It also has a backlit keyboard. So if you're, you know, in your den or it's really dark out and you don't wanna turn the lights on so you can see your remote, you can just go ahead and turn on that backlit uh, keyboard and you should be good to go. So I'm very pleased and happy with this guy. I recommend it to anyone that has um, a Kodi player on their uh, Raspberry Pi computer. It's just extremely convenient and at about a $20 price tag, uh, you know, a little bit more expensive than some of the other options that are out there, but I think it's worth it, um, in my opinion, if you can go up in quality and you get what you pay for with this being the case. And make sure, if you're going to get one of these things, make sure it's the re- uh, it's hard to focus in on that, but Re Mini i8 Plus. And, you know, if you're buying it on eBay or something, look at the back pictures and it should have uh, the small um, case thing here on the back. It also should say 
what model it is on the back and then also have these grip things on the side so that's how you know also the trackpad is going to be very specific in its um how to use it so also look for the ones that have the trackpad that have all this information on it so that's pretty much it guys for this video um you know if you have any questions comments concerns you can throw those down in the comment section uh if you, you know have any experience with this of your own you can go ahead and talk about it down there um, also i made a review video of a cheaper one of these types of remotes, it's called the PC remote, and I'll throw a link to that down in the description as well. If you're interested in a more budget-friendly option, that one is just about 3 or $4 compared to this one, which is about 20 bucks. Um, and that's pretty much going to do it, guys. So if you want more tech content in the future, you can click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in future videos. Bye.